Hi, how's it going folks? I'm Scott Australia and welcome back to our Taming Bonanza where we're going to tame everything we can on the island map. Everything possible. Uh, if you're enjoying the series, hit that thumbs up. Uh, leave us a comment. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss an episode or a specific team that you might be wanting to tame yourself. And yeah, drop us a comment, let me know what you think. Also, check out the Beginner's Guide series on from on the station, on the channel, sorry. Um, doing quite a good wee Beginner's Guide for getting there, progressing, going through the ingrams, and yeah, check it out. If you're new to ARC, it's always worth a look, it's always worth getting knowledge before even thinking about joining a server or anything. So, right, we're still, as you can see, it's still a wee bit dark right now. We are going to head to our next victim. Who is, oh, what we got there? Is that a compy? No, we don't want compies, we've got compies. What do you want? just get rid of that. <coughs> uh, if not, it could become a real pain. Right, I don't know why the dodos are running, but it's just something nasty. Mm, usually when dodos are running like that, then there's usually something nasty about This area is particularly horrible because it is completely not to a bit of swampy area. But to get our next team, this is where we need to be. And there we go, we've got two of them. So, as you can see, one's a male and one's a female. As soon as we attack that female, that male's going to get us. So, we're going to have to play this right and knock them both out, maybe eventually. As you can see, I've got my HUD back on. We're going to be using the trying gun for this one. We're not going to build a trap, we're going to use. Our amazing shooting abilities, which is absolutely... Oh, what's that? Oh, hold on, we say, oh, we've got a raptor. Ooh. That Parasitherium is... It's doing in a raptor. Okay, it's done in a raptor. Right, so... Right, it's one of the big Parasitherium. Otherwise known as the racer. And because you've got the Parasitherium, you've got uh, Parasolothus, uh, it can get confusing which is which. Which, even that, are totally different creatures, but these ones are known as the racer. Um, another great berry collector, used predominantly for. PvP, I think more, but you have used them myself in PvE for berry collecting. So, let's say we're going to use the gun, we're going to hit them at range, and we are going to... Right, that other one's not bothering with us, that's good, so that was one shot to get there. We're going to pop them again, and it's going to turn. Right, you water. Right. So, once he comes to the water, pop him again. And down he goes. Right. Now, we've got to be careful. This one has an aggro on us. As I thought it might have, but weren't too close. So, we're looking veggies again. Berries, veggies, sweet vegetable cake. Superior kibble. Right, so we're going to just access inventory and we'll pop in a wee bit of kibble for them. It's just the one. Yep. Pop that gun away so we don't have. They do take, the bigger teams like these, do take a wee bit longer, even though it's only level 12. 
but we will need to keep an eye on it. If you stand to, if never really actually stand right over the top of your team when you're taming it, because most things will aggro onto you, and basically if it aggroes onto you, there's a chance of your team getting hit. And the last thing you want is losing levels because you've stood too close to your team and when a dinos came to hit you, it's actually hit, hit your team. Right, there we go. Parasitherium. It's a bit, quite a big dino, it's a bit, it's a bit like the Nipperlando family sort of thing. I think it's a sort of pod as well. A bit dafty. Um, anyway, and we'll store up. It's a noisy one. Oops. And when you run over things, things die. Over here and the light a wee bit more. Yeah, well, that's better. Try and get a wee look at him. Or her. Yeah, it's him. Yeah, he's a funny, funny looking creature. But very good once again for berries, um, wee bits of thatch wood, the usual. But he is a good berry collector. So that is another one that can be mid range game. For the saddle, I think, uh, if I can remember correctly. Inventory. Let me just, I'll just check that for you then. Now. Saddle. So it's. Okay, uh, uh, there we go. Parser, level 40. Hence how it gets the name of the racer. Take away the first two letters and you've got racer. So 41 uh, to get a saddle for this chap. Also, same as the Bronto, it comes with a platform saddle as well. Which is quite good if you want to build a platform saddle. Yeah, but there you have it. The Paris Ethereum. So, if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget, drop us a like. Maybe subscribe. Yeah, hit the comments, let me know what you think. Uh, hit the notification so you don't miss an episode. And yeah, take care, stay safe. Catch you in the next one.